In modern culture we talk about the heart to express our love for one another. In the Bible the heart is considered part of one's interior being. It is said that God dwells in the human heart. Devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary has existed for centuries. In the Bible, love of the heart of the Mother of God seen in the commentaries of the Fathers on Biblical passages of the Old Testament, Song of Songs. In the Gospel of Luke, Chapter 2, Verse 35, Mary is told, And thy own soul a sword shall pierce, that, out of many hearts, thoughts may be revealed. In the 16th century, and notably in the 17th, under St. John Udd, there arose a widespread devotion honoring Mary's heart with a particular feast day in 1648. In 1805, Pius VII granted general approbation for the celebration of a special feast by any diocese or religious institute that desired to adopt it. At Fatima, in 1917, the seers were told, My Immaculate Heart will be your refuge and the way that will lead you to God. Our Lady of Fatima asked that, in reparation for sins committed against her Immaculate Heart, on the first Saturday Catholics go to confession, within eight days before or after the first Saturday, receive Holy Communion, recite five decades of the Rosary, and keep her company for fifteen minutes while meditating on the fifteen mysteries of the Rosary. She promised that, whoever would ever do this, would be given at the hour of his death the graces necessary for salvation. In 1855, the Congregation of Rites finally approved the Office and Mass of the Most Pure Heart of Mary without, however, imposing them upon the Universal Church. The Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary was transferred by Pope Paul VI to the Saturday immediately following the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Amen. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.